Okay, so this is Chelsea filming for VETT 222, task number one, and um, that is collect and prepare um, serum and plasma. I'm going to go ahead and show you the supplies we have collected here on our table. So from left to right, we have our alcohol to prep the site. We have a 5 ml syringe with a 20 gauge needle on it, which is appropriate for this size dog. We have a pen and a Sharpie to record the results in the chart as well as write our patient name on our sample tubes. So we have a purple top EDTA anticoagulant tube. We have a serum separator tube here and we have our lithium heparin for our plasma and they're all labeled with the patient information, the date, her number, and her name. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the patient and collect our sample. Good girl, baby. I'm going to go ahead and prep the site here. Jenny's restraining for a jugular blood draw. We're going to prep the site with alcohol and just palpate for the vessel first. Then take off the cap and introduce the needle bevel up and slowly draw back. assistant pulled off that vessel right there, right there so she's not bleeding and we're going to transfer our uh, blood into our tubes so the first tube I'm going to fill here is our EDTA and without any pressure we're filling that okay, and then inverting to mix it and then we're going to fill our serum separator okay and take off the needle here and fill our lithium heparin. So here. Um, serum separator is clotted. Looks good. Okay. And we have our EDTA tube, of course, that's not clotted, but it's been sitting here waiting. And then we have our um, lithium heparin tube that we're going to go ahead and centrifuge now. So I'm going to stick that in our centrifuge up here. So we have those two tubes, the balance tube and the sample tube, going into the centrifuge now for our plasma. And then we have our serum separator tube. So we're going to go ahead and pop the lid off this and use a wooden stick here to rim the clot. Okay, and it fell down there. Good. So now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and get our balance tube for this as well, so they look pretty even there. So I'm going to go ahead and start centrifuging them. So that will be for our serum. I'll go ahead and walk over here with this so you can see. So it's in there and our centrifuge nice and tight. Okay, walk that lid down really good. Okay, and we're going to turn the power on. And according to manufacturer's instructions here, we're going to run blood at 4,000 RPMs for about um, 7 to 10 minutes. We're going to turn on low and set that for 7 to 10 minutes there. Okay. And as soon as those are finished, we will um, come back, take them out of their centrifuges, and transfer them to their respective um, blood tubes. We're going to give our um, serum sample. So this we will collect for serum, and we have our lithium heparin here spun down. Pretty good sample, um, fairly clear. Um, this sample looks like it's slightly um, hemolyzed, so um, I want to talk a little bit right now about um, hemolysis and lipemia. So um, the sample that looks slightly hemolyzed is this one here, and I want to say um, the hemolysis in this case probably came from um, the blood draw was a little rough, um, it didn't uh, get right into the vessel, so it might have caused a little bit of hematoma and then drawn off that. Um, ruptured red blood cells. Also, um, hemolysis can come from um, inappropriate collection in with the way you put it into the container. So if the needle goes in and you're putting pressure on the syringe, it's going to lyse those blood cells, rupture them as they're hitting um, the tube. So if you're putting too much pressure or if you have an incorrect um, or a little bit of a rough blood draw where there could have been some red blood cells lysed. So um, the sample actually looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and use it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and with our clear plastic pipette here, zoom down in on our supplies. We're gonna go ahead and draw off the serum from our serum separator tube. And here. Okay. Looks good. And recap that sample. We're gonna find our tube labeled serum here. So that is this one, so serum right there. So we're gonna go ahead and place our serum sample into that tube labeled serum. And then for plasma, we're gonna go ahead and take our lithium heparin with a different plastic applicate, uh, plastic pipette here. Take the lid off of our, plas or our, uh, yeah, our plasma here. Draw that off. So we'll recap here. And our tube labeled plasma here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and that sample looks good. So in the end, we have our serum here and our plasma here. So we have two properly collected samples to use for um, in-house blood work or to go to the out, uh, to the lab. Um, last thing I wanna talk about here is um, lipemia. So I don't have a good, um, good sample here to show you of lipemia, but I can explain it. So. Um, the causes of lipemia are gonna be um, eating right before a blood draw. So if a patient comes in right after breakfast or lunch and has a blood draw, they're gonna have lipemic blood, which means it has lipids in the blood. So it's essentially it's just fats um, that the, just saying the patient has eaten. So um, to avoid that, you're gonna wanna have the patient fast if it's important. Um, our machines are okay running with lipemic samples um, and our lab is okay with that too. The, biggest problem is hemolysis. So these machines, um, our dry chem, I'll show you here. This um, HESCA dry chem has a big problem reading um, the with the hemolyzed blood. So the slides that you put in here are read by a little light down there and they read a color change in the blood. Um, so if the slide has um, hemolyzed or like pinkish red blood already on it, um, it's not going to recognize that color change and you're going to get an elevated um, liver value. So you're going to have uh, bilirubin GGT um, through the roof because it already thinks um, the color change has happened. So we try to avoid hemolysis um, and if important, uh, we do try to avoid lipemia if we can have um, the owners uh, fast the patient. So in this case, that wasn't necessary and we still got our samples here, one serum, one plasma and looks good.